Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to download a 360 image from Google Maps that you can go ahead and view in VR or on your computer and also annotate it, just like this one. So let's start. First thing you need to download is this Street View Download 360 app that is free for your computer. You can download this for Windows or for Mac OS. So I'll go ahead and download it for my Windows laptop. One note, if you are on a Mac OS system, click on Privacy and Security, and you'll see an option to click on Open Anyway for the Street View Download 360 app. Once this is downloaded, this will open up the app on your computer to use. So as you can see, I have the app downloaded to my computer, and there are a couple things that you'll see here. The path to save the file, and right here is the URL link from Google Maps. So let's go over how to download a Google Street View image from Google Maps. If I go to google.com slash maps, I can go ahead and search for UDC. And right here is UDC, and I want to find a specific image of UDC that's in front of the Student Center. So to get this Street View image from Google Maps, in the lower right corner, you'll see this little icon of a person. I can drag that onto the street part where I want to get it. So let me drag it right here. And as you can see here is a Google Street View image that's in full 360 right in front of the Student Center right here. Now one cool thing is that you can also see more dates of these 360 photos. So in the left corner right here where it says see more dates, I'm able to kind of see the progress or what changes have happened over the years. So for example, right here is August 2014. Let me go ahead and click on that. As you can see, the Student Center is still under construction. So if I did want to tell a story about the Student Center changes, I can choose a different date. But for our purposes, I will be using the most recent image, which is from 2022. So to download this image that I can annotate, I will go ahead and copy the link in the address bar right up top. And I will put this into the Street View Download app. So how I can do this is right here, I will paste that link that I just copied. And I will save this to my desktop under UDC Student Center. Let's go ahead and do that. So right there, I have it saved for UDC Student Center. I have the link right here. For the resolution, you do want to choose the second one which is 6656 by 3328. This will work with ThingLink. Once I click on Download Panorama, you'll see it will download. And now I have this completed, saved 360 image that I can now use. Let's go ahead and upload it to ThingLink. Now ThingLink is right here, and in the upper right corner, you'll see a button that says Create. Let's click on that and I'm able to put 360 image or virtual tour. So let's click here. I will find the file that I just downloaded. I named it as UDC Student Center, and that will upload right here onto ThingLink. Now I'll press continue in the lower right corner. Now once this 360 image has been uploaded, I can go ahead and see it on my computer or in VR, and I can also add annotations. So here's that same image from Google Maps. I can move it around. And let's just add a quick annotation for everyone here. I'll click on Add Tag, and I'll make a quick Add Text Label. And I'll put Student Center. And done. And I can go ahead and move this around. I'll also make a line right there. And I'll click on Done. And that's it. So I was able to download this image from Google Maps and Google Street View. I also used the Street View Download 360 app on my computer to put the link right here and download it. Remember the resolution is 6656 by 3328. And once this has been uploaded to ThingLink, I'm able to share this with others. I can also view it on my computer or in VR. Thank you very much.